What's up everybody, it's Stingray back here again today and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install an emulator on your iOS device whether it be iPad, iPod Touch, iPhone or an iPad mini like we're using right over here. As you can see the Game Boy Advance game is running really really smooth and we are running the brand new update iOS 7. So what we're going to do first is we're going to open up <laughs> settings and we're going to go to general and down to date and time. So what you're going to do here is you're going to change your date back to December 2012 or earlier. You could change this right back after you download the emulator, uh, but just change your date back to 2012 or earlier. And then you're going to want to go back to my video and click the link in the description box down below. And it's going to take you over to this site. And when you get to this site, you're going to want to hit the downloads tab and applications. This has to be on your iOS device, uh, not on your computer. Uh, so what you're doing here is you got your Game Boy Advance, you got your game, regular Game Boy, Nintendo DS, and a bunch of other things. You can only have one of these emulators at a time on your device. So whether it be like Nintendo DS or Game Boy Advance, if you want to download the Game Boy Advance one, you're going to have to uh, delete your Nintendo DS one or it will override it. But all your ROMs will remain right over there. So once you install this, it's going to install as this icon over here. And I'll show you what it looks like when it starts up. I'll close this. Uh, you just hit that, hit the thing, and you, all your ROMs will appear once you download them. So how do you, how you get your ROMs on here? All you do is simply hit that search mar uh, mark in the corner, and it'll take you over to Google, and you will get coolroms.com as the first search. So what you do is you go down to top downloads or search for whatever you want, and you can download your, all of your games. For this instance, let's try Pokemon Leaf Green. And with Pokemon Leaf Green, all you do is just scroll down and you have download now. And once you hit download now, it's going to ask you to download it in the emulator and it will appear right over here. They're very small files, so it's not going to take up a lot of memory at all. And once you do that, you will go hit it and that is it. That's your game on the iDevice and you don't have to be jailbroken for this. It's really, really simple, and I really, really love it because I love old games. If you haven't noticed already, you know, it's really cool to play all these Game Boy games, and they don't kill the battery that much because jailbroken devices uh, really drain your battery. So this isn't jailbroken, so you're really preserving a lot of battery life as well. And I really like it. So if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down in the comments box down below. I'd be happy to help. Ask me any questions that you want on Twitter. Shoot me questions over there if you want. And follow me on Vine. I'm addicted to Vine currently. So if you want to check out some six second videos over there at Stingray809. That's about it for this video, guys. Peace. I don't hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Because that's what's up. If you didn't, subscribe for more.